Hello crochet friends, welcome back. We're starting a new project today. We're gonna to make a cute little Mickey Mouse dishcloth. I think this will be fun and help us practice our little bobble stitches. So this is a red cotton, um, four size four yarn. Um, so it's the cotton that we use for anything in the kitchen that can be washed over and over again, okay? And this color was called red. This is actually the Walmart brand, I think. Yes, peaches and cream. Um, but use whatever you'd like, just as long as it's a cotton, 100% cotton. And I'm using a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook. So we're gonna get ourselves started. And we're starting with chaining. So we're gonna make a loop. And we're gonna drop our working tail behind and we're gonna enter that circle, that little loop there, grab and pull it up on the shank of our hook. Okay, and we wanna chain 30 to get ourselves started. So we're gonna yarn over and pull through one, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through three, go all the way to 30, here we go. Okay, this is number 30. You have 30 chain there. Nice and straight and beautiful. Okay, so we have 30 chain and we are going to go in the second chain from our hook and then we're just going to single crochet these 29 stitches. So we're going to skip this one. We're going to go into the next one right here and we're going to yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two. Okay, and then we're going to go into the next chain yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two. Remember we're working in the chain, so we're only picking up half, right? Just one strand of our yarn here, as opposed to when we normally pick up a stitch, we get two, right? So we're just working chains, and these are all single crochets, all right? We're gonna go along all the way to the end where we made our original little knot there, okay? and single crochet, so you enter, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two. There'll be a lot of single crocheting in this project, and then the bobble stitches make the um, raised area so that we can see the design, okay? I have a few projects on the channel with bobble stitches. Um, if you'd like, there's a lamb, and there's a prayer square, um, and they just help you. It's nice um, once you learn a stitch to be able to practice it a little bit. So if you're interested in those, to practice your bobbles. Um, I like making the bobbles. I think they're kind of fun. So some people call it a puff stitch um, and you can make them of various sizes. Uh, but yeah, I, I tend to call it the bobble. So if you get confused, bobble, puff, they are created the same way. All right, so keep going with your single crochets till you get to the end. Here we go. Okay, this is my last one because you can see my little knot there, right? So my last single crochet. Now we're gonna chain one and turn our work. So now we're on the opposite side, okay? So, there we go, that's great. Okay, so now we're going to single crochet each of these 29 stitches. Not hard. So this is our first stitch and now we have two pieces, right? Because it's a whole stitch. Enter, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two. Go into your next stitch. These are all single crochets, like I said. Um, so we have to make sure that we're just getting the whole stitch now. We have 29. So we just need to keep our count. Um, it will be important in this project to remember at the end the chain one during your work. All right, because you know, we don't want it to pucker and we need to be working on the correct side of our work. Our baubles need to always be on the same side. All right, so this is row two. We're single crocheting each stitch all the way to the other end and there are 29. So just keep going, here we go. Okay, now don't forget that last one because it lays a little bit different, doesn't it? So don't forget that last one there. Chain one, turn your work. All right, this is row three and we're gonna single crochet the first 11 stitches. All right, so here's one single crochet. Go into your next stitch, two, 
three. You doing okay with your single crochets? I keep grabbing this band-aid. It's driving me a little crazy. <laughs> Four. Oh dear. Five. Six. Go to eleven. Okay, this is number 11 for me. So now our next stitch is our bobble stitch. So let's demonstrate. Yarn over, enter your stitch. Yarn over and pull through. Yarn over, pull through two on your hook there, okay? I think I got an extra little strand there. Yarn over, enter that same stitch. Yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through two, just two. Now we should have three there. Yarn over, enter again. Yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through two. Just two. Now do you have four? Four on your shank. Yarn over and pull through all four. Okay, now we're gonna continue on and we're gonna single crochet the next stitch. And then we're gonna do our next puff, but I wanna show you. I'm trying to turn it around. So on the other side is where your puff is, okay? Your little bobble stitch, all right? See how that is there? It's so cute. All right, so we single crocheted, now we're gonna do another bobble, okay? So yarn over, enter your stitch. Yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through two. Yarn over, go right back in again. Yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through two. We have three. Oops. I think I have another little strand there. Okay, I'm sorry. Here we go. Yarn over, go right back in. Yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through two. Now, do you have four? Yes. Yarn over and pull through all four. Okay. Single crochet the next stitch. Yee. All right. Another bobble stitch, yarn over, enter, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over, enter the same stitch, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over, one more time, enter, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two, just two, and then yarn over and pull through all four. All right. Okay, single crochet the next stitch. Ooh, we're moving along here. And we have another bobble. <laughs> okay, yarn over, enter your stitch. Yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through two. Yarn over, enter your same stitch there. Yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through two. I'm trying to get that little strand. Oh, come on, baby. There we go. You can do it. Ah. Yarn over, enter again. Yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through two. Okay, we have four. Yarn over, pull through all four, okay? All right, now we're gonna single crochet the next 11 stitches. So this single crochet afterwards is what secures it, right? And makes it pull down. Let's see, that's two. This is three, four, five. Keep going to 11. Here we go. Okay, this is 11. Remember, it lays a little different, so just make sure you get it. That's 11. Okay, chain one, turn your work. Now you can see your cute little bobbles there. Look, that's so cute. So when you did that stitch afterwards, that's what pulls it down and then makes it come up like this. 
So cute, I love it. Okay, let's do four really quick. Row, uh, row four is just single crochet each stitch, so let's just get that one out of the way. So, into your first stitch, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two. All right, so we're just gonna single crochet across here, and um, you're gonna be working these bobble stitches, when we work our bobble stitches, always on the same side of the work. And it's the back side so that your bobble shows off on your right side, because that's the part, the way that it sticks out, right? It's interesting how it works, isn't it? Kind of like it. It's kind of like you're doing a bunch of double crochets when you're constructing it. Um, but it's just, you know, it's just a little different and we just have to take our time. That's all. That's all we do, right? So again, we have um, 29 stitches on our work, but when we get to these bobbles, see, they are long stitches. So you want to make sure you're getting the correct stitch, okay? So just count your work as you're going along. Make sure you're getting 29, and we have these singles in between here, right? So, oh, that silly band-aid, it keeps grabbing it. <laughs> so make sure you're getting the long bobble stitch and then that single crochet in between, okay? Keep going until you have 29 single crochets. Here we go. Okay, this is my last one. And I'm gonna chain one and turn my work. Okay, so we are on the back side. Um, this is the end of row four. 29 stitches on our work, so just check your work. Make sure that you have 29 there, and we'll meet up next time to start with row five. I'll see you then. Thank you, and have a joyful day.